What's up guys, it's Seabrev. Welcome back to another What Would Brev Do episode. We're going to play an entire Ranked Seasons game in this one. Uh, one of the most liked comments on my tier list video was showcasing how to pitch with 99 Jake Arietta. I rated him very highly and he had mentioned that he has struggled with him a lot. So we're going to be pitching with him in this one. Uh, this is the account I haven't touched in maybe a month or so. Uh, so it's a little behind. That's why O'Neal's not paralleled and stuff. But uh, semi-god squad will be definitely mixing it up with the lineup after this one. But I kind of wanted to just hop in and knock out this gameplay with Jake. We are at 833. So if we run the table and depending on the matchup, we're probably like three to four games away from World Series, which is pretty cool. So regarding Arietta, um, his all of his off speed is thrown very hard. Uh, so this is true with all pitchers, but uh, specifically with Arietta, do not be afraid to throw his off speed up in the zone. Um, and even more specifically, his slider. He throws one of the hardest sliders in the entire game. And so sometimes you'll see it gassed up to like 92. This is really strong to throw up, especially against lefties up and in. It's a really hard pitch to square up. And also throwing your off speed high with Arietta is going to help you tunnel a lot better with high sinkers and maybe throw them off of the pitch since when you do pitch with Jake, a lot of people are going to be sitting sinker, I've found, because uh, that's kind of what he's known for, you know? He's got, obviously, the max break on his sinker, and uh, that's what he made his name with in real life. So hopefully we can uh, get a good gameplay here as we watch Mookie step into the box to lead it off. So... Um, slider change up curveball all thrown very hard so I do like to pitch backwards with Jake I throw a lot of off speed with this card and you can see the very first slider we throw in the entire game hits 92 miles an hour that is a really big strength of this card that guy our opponent sorry uh, sat back really well on that change up away so uh, we may counter with a sinker now as always, in the beginning of these videos, we're trying to pick up on our opponent's bat speed, kind of figure out where they're at. Uh, one of the downsides of Jake is his lack of speed differential. So this is a card that definitely may struggle um, on All-Star. Definitely better on, like, Hall of Fame. Really good on Legend. So um, kind of like Felix in that regard. And uh, taking two sinkers in a row here, I don't really know what to think about that. So we're just going to bury a curveball and see if he tells us any info. He does not. He's uh, <laughs> he's lurking on us this at bat. All right, let's try one of these sliders up and in. See if we can catch him late. Love this pitch against lefties. He was late. <clears throat> exactly the swing we wanted. Unfortunately, he fouls it off. Another pitch I really like with Jake is the curveball inside to lefties as well. Throw the curveball a lot more to lefties than righties. Kind of like Lefty Grove, Burt Blylevin, guys like that. His curveball's thrown so hard. Uh, that it's actually a pretty good pitch to jam up of opposite hitting, opposite handed hitters. So, haven't done a video in a hot minute, so that's why I'm stuttering through this first inning, but hopefully it's helpful so far. Um, another thing I really like with Jake is the pitch I just threw. I throw that a lot more, again, because his slider is thrown so hard. I think people don't throw enough arm side sliders with this card. It's really, really strong against both handedness of pitchers. Even mixing in something like this when they're not expecting it. Since the slider comes in so hot, it's like really hard to... Or they don't have a ton of time to anticipate the fact that they're going to get caught looking if they don't swing. So we obviously missed our spot, but that's the idea. Get them early there. Uh, let's try a slider in on the hands. See if we can get them to chase. Haven't really tunneled up and in there, so I'm not surprised he took that. Good on him. Let's try to catch him with the front door now. So this is kind of obvious. Hopefully he doesn't turn. And he was late. So beautiful. And just from that first inning, you can see just how much I'm pitching inside with Jake. That's really the name of the game, to be honest. Because of its lack of speed differential, you kind of have to pitch like all your pitches on the same tunnel to make them effective, at least in my opinion. Doesn't mean I won't deviate from that from time to time, but... Um, yeah, I honestly think all five of his pitches are really strong. I think the card's super good. Obviously, I rated him really high on the tier list. Um, so we are taking on Shohei on the mound. People pitch wildly differently with this card. I feel like every time I face it, it's something different. So definitely want to see some pitches here, kind of figure out what he's going to attack us with. Lots of variety so far. 
And we are late on the cutter there. Really bad swing, honestly. Might take me a minute to kind of get back into the flow of things. That was absolutely dotted, too. We saw it the whole way. It was just our PCI and timing was way off. This guy really likes watching Mookie come to the plate. <laughs> Maybe it's his favorite player. All right, shift on a Mookie. Probably going to be patient yet again, but uh, maybe look for some things on the outer part of the plate to go the other way with if we can. I will definitely take a 2-0 start to the at-bat. All right, goes inside there. 2-1 now, still looking outside. Try to beat him at his own game there with the shift. Nice pitching there. And I don't have a lot of info, so I don't know what I'm going to see here. He went fastball up and away. Since I'm just early, I probably didn't hit that out. Yeah, that's to be expected. Um, on that kind of pitch, you kind of either want to be like straight up early or like perfect. <laughs> I kind of knew that wasn't leaving right off the bat. So honestly, a really good swing, but uh, we make an out for it. Um, and he does come at us with the four seam and a two strike count, so we will keep that in mind. Same thing with Schwarber here, who has also shifted. Kind of looking towards the outside part of the plate early in the count. Uh, don't want to just roll over into the shift first pitch and kind of blow our at bat that way. He does seem to be kind of nibbling a little bit, which is good for us too, since we want to work the count. That splitter was literally right down the middle, so I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Luckily, I hit that high enough where it wasn't caught into the shift. And uh, now we'll see if he just comes with a straight up fastball here. Since I just crushed the off speed, we'll see what he throws. Still kind of want to be patient, though. I don't have a lot of reads on this guy yet. All right, splitter curve. Kind of interesting he went right back to the splitter after I crushed one. Hmm, seems like a cutter spot. Try to keep a slow bat. Ooh, four seam. All right. I imagine this is off speed, but he may just go back to the four seam because I was so late. Nice splitter in the dirt. We send the runner now. Three, two, two outs. And it was a slider. So I kind of figured he wouldn't go fastball in a three, two count just because of that Mookie bets at bat we had. So he it was only two, two with Mookie, but in basically the same amount of leverage for hitter and pitcher. Last time he went fastball, and we crushed it like 400 to dead center. So uh, to be expected, I did definitely keep a slow bat there. I would have been beat by a four-seam fastball, but, you know, those are kind of the plays you have to make, the reads you have to make to try to make something happen there. Obviously, Chipper's a beast. We had good PCI placement as well, so a little bit of mechanics went into it. But uh, things you love to see, starting it off right, already going to be a 23-plus pitch inning for Shohei here. Just giving up an extra base there. And that is an absolute dot. I thought that would break off the plate. That's as good as you can throw it there, man. I don't mind striking out looking there, though, with uh, two down, nobody on. We uh, converted what we needed to convert with Chipper, which was awesome. Back to Jake on the mound. Going to keep working this off-speed for sure. Um, definitely the strength of this card. And again, like I said, don't be afraid to throw it up, and don't be afraid to throw it in sinker and fastball tunnels. Um, I don't. I wouldn't say necessarily pitch backwards all the time with this card, but uh, I think featuring a lot of off-speed really opens up his sinker more than if you did it the other way around, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, just overall, I think the card's incredibly strong. By the way, this new Devers card is insane. <laughs> this card's like free Lou Gehrig, pretty much, and you can play him at third if you wanted to, or also first. Card is so crazy. All right, we're going to try the slider in on the hands again. Maybe throw it a little lower, see if we can get him to chase. Again, we're just experimenting. We did leave that one over the plate. Not what we wanted to see. And now we'll try this up and away slider again. Maybe we don't miss our spot this time. And that is actually an incredible swing by him. Um, I That was an absolute dot. Most of the time, people catch that looking, so... This guy's really good. I will give it to him. That swing was craziness. Uh, this is definitely going to be a barn burner of a game. Um, it does appear that he has kind of a slow bat at the moment, though, so maybe we'll start rearing it up with the sinkers. The problem is trying to figure out when he's going to adjust back. This is kind of the game theory that we deal with, you know, against good players all the time. But luckily, he's late on back-to-back -back sinkers, and we get the easy fly out. 
Six up for six, six up, six down for Jake, I think. I think that is true. Beautiful stuff. All right, Helton. <laughs> Currently holding a 2300 OPS on this account. Don't worry about the sample size, it's fine. Belt high slider to a lefty. I wish I was ready to hit that one. Dang it, man. That was a juicer. Back to back four seams. Following it up. Gotta be careful to protect anything close here. The high splitter up and away. I like that. It's pretty cute. Um, really need to lay off the cutters and sliders inside. He left that one over the plate. I'm mad I was early there. That was basically the same pitch he threw to Chipper. We could have crushed another one. And good sequence from him. Got us late on the four seam. If I was really locked in, I could have taken that pitch. It wasn't that close to the corner. Uh, but I'm not locked in, I guess. Good sequence from him, though. Um, I could have sped the bat up knowing that I just crushed a slider foul. But uh, a little bit of a risk there for sure. All right. Not doing anything with either of those pitches, so we sit in the hole 0-2 here. Maybe look to speed the bat up again. And we did. So... Um, the reason I was looking to speed my bat up there is because he just beat us with a four seam two strikes. So again, this is a back and forth we're dealing with right now, right? Uh, first thing he did, two strikes with a fastball. We crushed it for an out with Mookie. So he adjusted. Next time two strikes was a slider to Chipper. We crush it for a home run. So then he adjusts back, throws a fastball to Helton. We're late. So that could be a tip off to him that the fastball is going to work. So then we adjust and catch up to it next time. Is basically the sequence we went through there. Now I imagine 2 2, this is going to be off speed since we just crushed a fastball. And he stays ahead of us there on the game theory stuff. So good on him. I don't think he'll throw it three times in a row. It's a slow bat. Can't believe I missed that one on Forch. Dude, I, he's throwing me so many good pitches that I'm just not hitting. <laughs> Feels bad. Big boy take. I'm going to send the runner here too. Good speed in the pitcher on deck. And he does go up and in again. So, um, again, he just beat us with Helton with the up and in fastball. He's trying to adjust. And, uh, unfortunately, we catch him and turn in and burn him. I really love Hannes Wagner so much, man. Every year that card's so good. Don't forget with Jake, too, he can hit a little bit. So uh, don't sleep on it. You don't necessarily have to take risks like I just did, sending the runner with the pitcher on deck, because he can't hold his own. It depends on your difficulty, obviously. Um, on Hall of Fame and Legend, it's a lot harder to convert with pitchers, even when they do have mildly good power stats. And good pitch from him. So we'll turn the lineup over here. I think I have Mickey hitting lead off. He's going to hit with two outs. We'll see what we can make happen here. You can see 46 pitches for Shohei. Not even out of the second inning yet. This is classic breath stuff here. Just uh, trying to make reads the best we can and see as many pitches as we can. Splitter, splitter there. Kind of looking for like a cutter that just stay, catches too much at the plate. Now I don't have that luxury. Again, we're not going to swing at things off the plate inside. If he catches us looking, it's okay. Good split from him. That one was on the plate. And he does go forcing right down the middle, and I'm under it. Unfortunate. That's a pitch we got to crush, especially with Mickey. But again, we convert with another two-run bomb. And uh, that's been the story so far. We get a guy on, we hit a two-run bomb. Alliterative and true. All right, so I wonder if he's going to start pressing here now. So I'm actually just going to bury a changeup right off the rip. Make sure he's staying within himself here as we start the sinning. And you can see he wanted it, so um, good on him on kind of sticking with it. But he could be feeling like he's in a spot where the game's starting to get away from him. So I just want to kind of give him a gut check there. And if he wants to flail the changeup first pitch, then that gives us an advantage right away. But good on him for taking. I think he didn't go again. Ooh, we get a lucky call there. And so 
As I said before, I love this up and away slider to lefties. Last time he swung at it, so I'm actually going to try like a cute tunnel here. Maybe he swings late at this sinker. We'll see what he does. I wanted that off the plate a little bit more, but uh, we basically got the result we were looking for. I don't know what to throw here. Bury the changeup again. Just to see. Keep him honest. He wanted it again. And now we'll go up and in slider here. One of my favorite pitches, man. Again, he throws the slider so hard. It's so hard to get around on that with good timing. Even though he was good there, he was late side of good. So he hit it with a weak enough exit velo that Mickey's able to run that one down, which is huge. Obviously, good swing by him for sure. Um, but it's just so hard to be early side of good or perfect on that pitch specifically. So pretty... Pretty good outing from Jake so far. A little bit of luck, to be honest. But uh, I feel like we're pitching well. And this is honestly just kind of how my outings go with this card, man. I feel like he's so reliable. Um, against this guy specifically, I definitely should be mixing in more hard stuff. But we're kind of just cruising with the off speed. Um, hopefully I didn't jinx myself. and Otani's going to take me deep here. Got to keep him honest over there at first, too, with Honus. Honus. So we're going to vary our timings to the plate. Make sure we're not getting predictable there. And the fact that he just took those two pitches makes me think that he might just be sitting off speed. So we're going to try to catch him looking front door. Ooh, he was ready. A little bit of hit and run. I wonder if he would have been as ready for that if he wasn't stealing. We will never know. And we get him to chase inside with the classic tunnel there. So he protects the front door, fouls it off. Then it's in his head, and then we... Go off the plate there. Get him to chase. He is in there by a mile. Good steal. Jake is decently easy to steal on, I will say that. A little bit slow out of the stretch. So keep that in mind. Really seems like he just doesn't want to hit the sinker this inning, but I'm scared he's just going to randomly turn on one. Yep. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of, dude. That's all it takes, man. One pitch, especially with a guy on. Ugh. I, I have been pretty predictable, I will say. I'll, I've thrown a lot of sinkers after sinkers. So, good job by him, man. Kind of ruining the gym Arietta's throwing so far. And I did, in fact, jinx it. So, that one's on me, dudes. We will go back to the cruising, I assume. I hope. And we'll see if we can get him to chase this slider inside. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Learning some stuff. We're just going to throw that again because there's no way he lays off it twice. Ah. <laughs> okay, there's a way. Try the same tunnel we tried before. He did get to, We did get a swing there. Nice. And uh, I'm going to try to jam him up with a curve again. I think I did this to Mickey last time. Yep, and he's late. So a couple of adjustments I need to make. Throwing more sinkers, but doing them less predict predictably and mixing in the curveball a little bit more to lefty specifically. So, a couple of good swings from him. Leads to two runs. It happens. We've already done it twice, so we know it happens. We'll go back up and hit. Like I said, this guy's a good player, too, so it wasn't very likely that we would, you know, shut him out through nine innings. But regardless, still very pleased with how Jake has pitched so far. And obviously the offense is making it happen. Fastball into slider there. Mookie rips it for a single. Good start, man. Especially crucial now. We get Schwarber up with no shift on. I'm going to be sitting splitter here. He's throwing a lot of first pitch first pitch splitters. Why is that so hard to say? Oh, he threw it low. I'm actually lucky I didn't just ground into a double play because he threw it off the plate. I don't know if he meant to do that or not. But it was almost genius. All right, slider down and in. Good spot. And the cutter spins. How did he hit that with his glove? Dang it. I thought that was getting through. I guess I'm lucky that he didn't come up with it clean. Uh, I don't know how I swung over the top of that one, though. That was right there with Schwarber. That feels bad. Another first pitch splitter to a lefty. So this is definitely a tell. We're just waiting to see one a little bit more that catches a little bit more of the plate. Dang it. 
tells me they're trying to oh just off the plate man with the four seam he's really nibbling a lot this inning like hasn't really thrown one like right down the middle except the first pitch to Mookie so we may need to reel it back on the aggression as he hangs one <laughs> of course dude uh brutal back to the nibbling I don't really know what I'm looking for here man I guess just you know uh, apparently not either of the pitches he threw right down the middle so I guess we just don't feel like scoring this inning. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Sorry about that inning, dear Lord. And uh, that's what we don't want to do. That's the type of inning that gets him right back in it, man. Especially, you know, the two the two meatballs to O'Neal that we just looked at. I got to figure it out for myself. Hopefully Jake can carry us a little bit longer, though, here in the fourth. And he's late on the curve to lefties again. Unfortunately, Chipper can't get there. Uh, same deal as with the slider, man. He just throws his off speed so hard. It's hard to turn on those. Honestly, don't think I've thrown enough strikes in that tunnel to get him to chase that pitch, to be honest. Ooh, where did he miss that? That was so weird. I wonder if he was early and right on it. Seemed like he was all over it. <laughs> I'll take it, man. Maybe he was a little bit under. That's the beauty of throwing the four-seamer sometimes. Late side of good. That was definitely a weird outcome there. All right, we'll go first pitch sinker, and then we will not throw a second pitch sinker. But he uh, just puts that one in play right away. So two down. Pretty efficient for Jake, man. Pitch counts are, you know, about 20 pitches off between the two of us. Not that it means anything, because I guess we're going to have people throwing 150 pitches every start for the rest of the year, but still a good tell as to, you know, how good I feel about how we're performing, hitting-wise. He, he does just lay off that curve. I wonder if he just feels really uncomfortable with that pitch now. Get him early on the changeup in the sinker tunnel, and now we're going to try to backdoor with this hard slider. We'll do it low this time, though, since he did crush the high one before. And that is just disgusting. Man, that is just seriously one of my favorite pitches with Jake. Like I said, he throws it so hard, man. So hard to react to that, especially on Legend. By the time you realize it's going to break into the zone, it might, it's very often too late. 2-0 to Helton here, so I'm looking for a spin and cutter down the middle, otherwise I'm taken. Just kidding. <laughs> to be fair, if that was a cutter, I would have been all over it. 3-1 now, I think I just take here. I'm obviously not locked in at the plate, so a leadoff walk would be dope. All right, we'll look at that slider. We'll see what he comes with here. Maybe another four seam. He got me on it last time. He goes curveball. Curve right down the middle that we missed. We are struggling mechanically. It's okay. Decent at bat, though. And he has shown a willingness to uh, kind of just lay the ones in there from time to time, especially when he falls behind in the count. I don't know if he's doing it on purpose, but we will have pitches to hit. We may need to just tone up the aggressiveness a little bit when we get ahead in the count. Not let him get away with all these floaty boys. Camp down the line. I, I mean, I wasn't tracking the sequencing that great that at-bat, but it felt pretty typical. I feel like a lot of his at-bats are slow stuff starting off, and then second or third pitch ends up being a four-seam. Looks like he may move away from Shohei here. He's warming people up, it appears. All right, so slow stuff. We'll see if he goes, like, splitter or something. Slider again, and then usually third pitch has been four-seam, so we'll keep a fast bat. Good mix up there. We were cheating a little bit. And a good split. Great spot for that pitch, man. Nothing we can do. We took about the best swing at it as we could. That's a disgusting pitch. Now Jake's going to have to try to come through for us here, man. Even a bloop single is going to get us our fifth run. He's still nibbling. All right, we'll see. we said we'd be more aggressive when we're ahead. Ooh, that one right by us. 
down the line? <laughs> oh no. Not like this, dude. Not the very early down the line with the pitcher, man. <laughs> oh no. Alright, we're sitting splitter now. Unless he rage fastballs, I don't know. He might just take Shohei out too. That's tough, man. That's about the least deserving RBI single of all time. I'm going to say Rage Fastball. F it. This guy's good, man. Staying on top of his emotions. Good pitch. All right, well, we get bailed with the RBI from Jake. We scored five runs, and I feel like we're sucking. I don't know. Uh, if you guys missed the Shohei video, too, uh, this guy's actually running into one of the issues that I personally try to prevent when I use Shohei. He has Shohei batting ninth, which is making things really awkward. Like, especially if he goes one, two, three here with Shohei leading off next inning. Um, he's not going to... He's going to feel like he needs to take Shohei out on the mound, but he's going to want to get the value of the at-bat the next inning, so it's just kind of weird. But uh, he bleeds a late single there, so it's probably not going to matter. Unless we can turn a double play. Let's see if we can get him to roll one over here with Schwarbs. He hasn't chased low a lot, so it's not looking promising for the, the double play. And I'm going to step off here. Just caught myself in a tendency again. Almost just doubled up on the sinker, which is basically the only mistake we've made sequencing-wise that he's punished us for so far with the home run. So, And you can see his fast bat there. So we're trying to stay on top of our own tendencies while tracking his as well. I don't think he's going to swing at this, but we'll try. He did, actually. Hmm. And now I'm going to throw Singer way out here. Remember how we caught him looking with the slider last time? Maybe he chases this. All right, good take, and now we'll just come back with that pitch. Work the same tunnel. And he's all over it. <laughs> that went a little bit more middle than I wanted, but that was honestly such a good swing from him, man. Uh, this game could be a lot different if, you know, he's gotten a little bit luckier. That's such a good swing, man. That's hard to watch. Good on him, man. Unfortunately, it was out to dead center. We did have one with Mookie earlier, so maybe that evens it out. Now we're up 0-2. I'm going to throw a sinker low. Again, try to work this double play. Ooh, he fouled it off. Very weird swing by him. Looked like he didn't see that pitch at all. And we get him to chase the change up. So two down. Shohei does get a hit, so that makes things easier for us, or for him, I mean. And this is really weird, man. <laughs> I don't know what this is. No judgment, but uh, kind of judgment. I I don't know, man. That's weird. That is really weird. Maybe he wants the contact. Maybe he feels like it's a big enough spot where he doesn't want low contact. I don't know. I guess it's late enough in the game. You guys tell me what you think of that move in the comments. And we throw the up and in slider. I meant to throw it off the plate, but even though we missed our spot, you can see the beauty of it. Again, throwing Jake's off speed high. So strong. It's all fast. Hard to square up. So he does pinch hit there. Burn a bench bat with Jordan. And he's going to move to Kenley Jansen now. We will see four, hopefully not four plus, four innings of his bullpen. Which I am a fan of. Stepping up is Mookie Betts. The second He's one for two in this one. And this is just off the outside corner. Kinley's repertoire is significantly different than Shohei's, so again, we're going to try to be a little bit patient. Try to see how he likes to pitch. Because we haven't seen his seeker cutter sequencing yet this game. So we will find out. Wow, what a swing from us, actually. It's not going to get down, but. Second time we've put a great swing on that pitch, that change-up slash splitter that's just off the low and outside corner. Nothing we can do with it, honestly. That's about as good as it gets. So good on him for continuing to hit that spot. All right, Schwab's up, shift on. Again, we're looking outside 
trying to go the other way. Scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. One of the keys, Matty V, to being a good reliever. Couldn't quite square that one up. Trouble, trouble that's created by the pitchers before you, or sometimes. Pretty typical there. We got to protect it though, in case it's a sinker. Regardless if it's a mess that he's inherited. Big boy take on the slider. He's got to come up and in with something hard here. I think. He didn't throw it up, and I missed it. Maybe I hit this out though. Oh, this looks like a wall scraper. Come on. Nice. <laughs> Dude, we have scored so many. Is that two completely undeserved runs so far? Oh, he's mad. <laughs> the hesitation right now, dude. He's so pissed. All right, anyways. I'll take it, man. Whatever. I've given up plenty of those myself, so. One thing I have noticed with this guy, to be honest, though, is he really doesn't double up on pitches like ever. He seems like he's constantly throwing a different pitch every time. He's kind of just playing like repertoire roulette. I guess that's useful and then I can rule out the last pitch he threw pretty much every pitch. Is that like a gigantic tell? He just threw two change-ups. I feel like he's not going to throw three change-ups. Nice backdoor cutter there. So now I'll rule out cutter. Let's see if this works. We'll rule out cutter here. No, it didn't work. As soon as I said something, he mixes it up. Of course, this is my life. What an at-bat, though, from Chip. He doesn't have to throw us a strike here either, so we'll try to take a ball. And we're just a little bit late on the cutter. Decent spot from him, man. Didn't execute, but uh, again, working those pitch counts. And uh, getting awful home runs with Kyle Schwarber as the name of the game. This is probably slider or change. Nope. This guy's all up in my head. There's one. I don't know. I feel like I have to keep a fast bat here. Yeah, and he just threw it right off the corner again, man. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with those pitches. Three of my outs have been on the most unhittable pitch right in the exact same spot that he is just donning me with. Good for him, man. That's a... Uh, there's actually nothing we can do except all three of the swings that we've taken. So tip your cap and move on. Um, I'm going to try to elevate a fastball. I haven't done this yet. Since the PCI update, you have to throw this really high to the point where it's often non-believable. So I don't throw it very often. But we do, in fact, get him to chase there, which is a big deal. So now we'll bury a slider, and then after that we'll go up with the same slider if he survives. So early bat there, and now we'll try to front door. Blow an in slider here, and then we'll go up. I want to throw it three times in a row, actually. And we do catch him looking, so nice. We'll go first pitch curve to a lefty again. Hopefully he doesn't adjust. This has worked really well for us. He's late again. Beautiful. Now we will go back to the up and away sinker. This is a typical sequence here. He's late again. And now he's going to be worried about me catching him looking because we just did, so we'll throw something out of the zone, try to get him to chase. He wanted it. I haven't thrown a curveball below the zone in a while. Let's see if he chases this one. Good take. It's pretty easy to read, honestly. Um, guess we'll go to the trusty up and in slider. What a take. I actually tried to throw that for a strike. I'm not sure how that ended up. Not a strike with the input I had. Good at back from his Mickey here. Try to catch him front door. He's probably ready. It's probably a dumb pitch. Ooh, he wasn't ready. Nice. And I actually made a mistake there too. I doubled up on the sinker yet again. I keep making this mistake. It's literally the only thing we've been punished for this whole game. And I've now still wanted to do it twice and only stopped myself once. So bad pitch for the strikeout there. <laughs> Long story short. Objective, results-based thinking. 
or sorry, results-based thinking is not good. Objective thinking is good. Anyway. Well below the knees, laid off he wants that so bad, but he never swings. Feels bad. I'm going to throw this. We're like not all of the pars in the zone. If it's a ball, it's fine. Okay, that's fine. And we'll go slider up and in yet again. Hopefully he didn't pick up on this last at bat. And he's late again. Man, this is honestly a clinic from Jake, man, especially against the lefties. Like, how many times have I caught this guy late with off-speed? It's just really, like, it's the golden age of Jake, Arietta. <laughs> like, that is how I get almost all of my outs with this card. So we just, we threw one too many sinkers and gave up a two-run bomb, and that's the only damage we've given up. Absolutely beautiful outing so far. Soto comes in to face Helton. We do have six, seven, eight, nine, so... Possibly won't do much this inning, but we'll see what happens. Obviously, I'm not going to pinch hit for Helton here either. I don't need to. Nobody on base. And we have the lead, so no pressure. We'll just hit left on left for this at bat and move on. A lot of slow stuff from him with Soto, which is kind of weird. We'll turn it up here, though. He's probably pitching us backwards. He was. Bad PCI. I don't know what he's going to throw now. Maybe he goes with the sinker yet again. Fastball up and in. Kind of had to be early on that. That's a really good swing. I can't imagine he'll throw that again. So now we're going to slow the bat down. We just crush that pitch. And he does go slider. So beautiful, beautiful at bat from Helton there. It's only a single. But that's literally just, you know, how would I think if I was a pitcher? If I was him pitching. I'm early on the sinker. Then he goes fastball up and in. I pull it foul at 150 miles an hour. He's not going to be very excited about throwing the hard stuff again for a third time. So that's why we slow the bat down there. We're late on a changeup because we're awful. Maybe he just doubles up on that because that was embarrassing. Just kidding. We poke the sinker the other way. Matt Kemp's three for three. Still an underrated card, I think. Just so many outfield options now. This is an amazing time to drag bunt with Hannes, by the way, but I won't do it. I'll keep my dig dignity for now. Two-one. Hmm. Okay, nice. This is probably slow again. Probably a changeup. Ooh, he fooled me. Do I send both runners here? I'm doing it. Jake's on deck, so. I'll do it again. Mm, I think that's getting caught. This is so awkward if this drops. Okay. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Yo, it's not awkward if it drops like that. <laughs> Dude, this guy's so mad. He's actually getting screwed so hard. The last three runs I've scored have been nonsense, man. I am sorry, bro. We definitely have some rage quit equity if, like, Arietta puts one in the gap here. This is, like, Archie Bradley level soul crushing if we get a hit. Oh, almost. Oh, Oh, that'll work, though. <laughs> Basically a safety squeeze. We've somehow scored eight runs. Still only one out here, too. You could have made the argument for him to put his infield in there, but in a five-run game, it's hard to say how how in it he feels. Hmm. The back-to-back -back hard stuff's kind of weird from him. I wonder if he just does it three times in a row. He did. Nice job, Mickey. So let me talk through why I just thought that. He is noticeably frustrated. Like, if you notice, he paused the quick menu three times in a row after that ball got by Vlad for a ground rule double. Um, that's basically how people complain <laughs> on this game is they just pause repeatedly after something doesn't go their way. 
And then ever since that, he's kind of like rage pitching. So he hasn't tripled up on hard stuff basically all game, but I felt like he might because he's mad. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. The only way I hit that sinker where it was is if I was sitting on it. So we literally, that home run was caused by our approach, not even our mechanics. So I just wanted to talk about why I had flipped the switch there. Maybe he does it again here too. Ah, good adjustment. I don't know how I found that off. I'm honestly playing the luckiest game of all time. feel bad for this dude. Underneath the change up. Two down now. We're two runs away from a mercy if we can get a little bit of a more of a rally here. Schwarber's two for three. Carrying a solid 442 average. <laughs> God, I love Schwarber so much. And same thing. Nobody on base, so he shifted, so we're looking for stuff outside. Didn't really want to be early on that pitch, so I'm fine being very late. Just trying to time him up in a way that I can go the other way. Same thing with that, but it was a ball. Good pitch. Ooh, that was disgusting. That's the best pitch he's thrown all game. I don't know how I fouled that. That was a backdoor sinker tunnel, and he mixed it up with a changeup. That was so gross. That might have been the sickest pitch I've seen all week, no lie. That was the biggest brain. And unfortunately, he left the second next one right down the middle. Schwarbs punishes left on left. Gregory Soto approaching 40 pitches now. That was hit 111. And we're a solo shot away from a mercy here. We're going to have to do it off Bruce Dar. Who I have very minimal reps against, obviously. He just came out. Uh, I shouldn't need reps to hit that pitch, though. Don't know what the Brev is doing there, dudes. Obviously, with Bruce Dar, the approach is probably just to keep a really fast bat. And if they throw a slider, then you tip your cap. Because three of his four pitches are fastballs. See what he comes with here. That was nasty. I was early, though. If that was a sinker, I would have crushed it. Woo! He's mad. <laughs> Does he throw it again? No. He went cutter. Dang it. PCI is off of it. Jake's going to pitch at least one more inning. Hopefully we hold him at two runs and then come through on the mercy next inning. But really, really good inning from us. And honestly, a lot of the damage we did, I mean, obviously it's super lucky that, you know, the ground road double happened and everything. But um, getting into somebody's bullpen is, is so massive this year, man. Like, I feel like my offense just turns up every time I start facing bullpen arms. So the fact that he felt obligated to take Otani out and we worked so many pitches on his bullpen arms, Kinley and then Soto, um, really a testament to just our approach, you know. Get into the bullpen. It's not rocket science, especially in real life. But get it, work the pitch count, get tendencies, get into the bullpen, and then tee off from there. I haven't gone up and in much. Let's try a four-seamer there. I'm not sure how that's not in the zone. It's basically perfect input. I don't know. I'm complaining about my pitching input when I'm up 11-2. to two. Don't listen to me, chat. Comments. And we'll go back to the trusty-dusty up and in slider here. Two strikes. Oh, almost gorgeous. And now I obviously don't want to walk him, so we'll just throw a sinker, and he's probably going to hit it out. All right, I'll take the strike out. Nice work, us. Good job, me. One more to go here in the seventh. Honestly, I felt like this start was textbook for Jake. Uh, we did get, unfortunately give up the one bomb, but if I could have sat down and hoped for a start, I'm going to let this go foul. We, did, we weren't going to get him at first. I couldn't have written up a better start for Jake. This is this is how I pitch with him, and this is why I have the most success 
so much success with him, I would say. And just able to showcase it really well in this video. So that makes me happy. Hopefully it helped y'all, especially the person that was asking for it. And that's a front door curveball. Unhittable. Catching him looking again. So we got O'Neal, Helton, Kemp, and then Hannes, and then Jake. Hopefully we score one and get out of here against Mr. Russo, who honestly has played super well. I've had a lot of breaks. He's had a lot of unlucky stuff happen. Game could be a lot. Game has been a lot closer than the score indicates for sure. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter's going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. I haven't seen a single slider from him yet. This would be a good time to throw on, especially right on right. Threw it high. Almost caught me there. All right, we work it back to 3-2. He's not going to walk 99 speed, so we're hacking away. And there we go. Tyler O'Neill with the walk-off. Turning and burning on the Bruzdar sinker. And we win this one 12-2. Jake Arietta goes seven innings, two earned, three hits. I don't know how many strikeouts he had. I don't think I walked anybody. Eight strikeouts. Great start from him, man. Obviously, the offense popped off, too, with a little bit of help from Aaron Jesus. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, any questions, concerns? Let me know in the comments. Appreciate y'all watching to the end. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, it would mean a lot to me if you just liked it. And, you know, subscribe if you like this content. We post a lot of it. So take care, guys. See you next time.